Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of my GTA Vice City 100% walkthrough. Now in this video we're going to collect the first 10 hidden packages, which has kind of become tradition in my walkthroughs now, because we unlock some weapons every single time we collect 10 of them, so might as well collect as many as we can. Um, the reason I've got so much money is because I've actually already done the paramedic mission, because I obtained the exclusive colour White Admiral, which was the first special vehicle, and that was available in the previous mission, if you didn't notice. Um, I'm probably going to go over the paramedic mission later because it's not really required to be done right now. The only reason I did it was to get some money because this was essential for me to obtain the exclusive colour White Admiral and to get part of the 100% completion stuff out of the way. So um, I'll go over it a bit later but if you want to complete it for any reason then just check the um, exclusive colour White Admiral video and it's in the special vehicle guide. Hope this helped. I mean, to be honest, at this stage of the game, unless you're a special vehicle collector, money doesn't really have much of an advantage anyway. Because if you collect the hidden packages, you're going to unlock weapons anyway, which always respawn at your hideout. So, yeah, even if you don't have a lot of money, you can still easily progress through the game following this walkthrough. And the second hidden package is basically outside Lance's place. Well, it was Lance's place in VCS. Don't know what it is now, but yeah. And the next hidden package is in a car park. And this is a very iconic place in Vice City, this area. And here it is, the third hidden package. The next hidden package is just behind a building, which is this one right in front of us. Um, there's some pretty spectacular views from this area. Yeah, I just like to jump on top of the vehicle to get up this ledge. You can probably jump up the ledge without the use of a vehicle, but I just do it with the vehicle anyway. What a lovely sight of Vice City this is. Hidden package 4 of 100. And the next hidden package is underneath the bridge. Be very careful here because Tommy Vassetti cannot swim, unlike Vic Vance, so be very, very careful. And then if you were wondering, Vic Vance was the main character from Vice City Stories. The next hidden package is just behind a purchasable safe house, just just up this road here. It doesn't have a garage, so I always buy it much later. I focus on buying the garage safe houses first because I'm a special vehicle fanatic, so I like to have garages available when I collect the vehicles. I mean, special vehicles in the first place were the reason that my channel became what it is now. Really, the special vehicles are the ones that drives my channel and my motivation for the channel. So I have a huge amount of respect for them. But of course I love doing the walkthroughs as well, it's just the special vehicles are the one that gives my channel kind of unique kind of look to it. Get yourself a fast car if you can, I don't know how fast the car needs to be but since um, you can find in furnaces very easily because in this game, compared to Vice City stories, you actually start in the Eastern Island, so you can find all the fast cars straight away, whereas in Vice City stories, you actually started on the Western Island, which meant that the fast cars were not really available until later on. It's pretty cool, actually, that they gave us a unique start to both games. So basically, what you want to do is just floor it down, floor it down this um, road here, and you'll end up jumping onto a rooftop, hopefully. 
and you'll earn a bit of money for it, which is a nice bonus. But we have to jump onto another rooftop over here. And what do you know, a hidden package. A really annoying one to get, actually, sometimes. It's pretty tricky. And now, just around the corner, behind the building, there'll be the next hidden package. And not only is there a hidden package, but it's actually an armor location pickup as well, and also an SMG, which is a pretty cool bonus. So three spawn locations in one area. And in case you didn't know, you can do a drive-by with a submachine gun basically means you look to the right or left and then you press fire but that will all be explained in the story missions anyway so yep we only have one more hidden package for the video and we're gonna get another tricky hidden package which requires a jump Park yourself in this alleyway here, and now floor it as fast as you can. It's probably better to use a motorbike for this, but since I've got a fast car, I'm going to give it a go. And, um, looked like that worked. You will not only complete a unique jump, I'll go over all the unique jumps later anyway, but you'll find a hidden package at the end of the building. As such. Thanks for watching everyone. Body armor delivered to Ocean View Hotel. Hope this helped, thanks for watching, and, um, yeah, see you next time. Cheers.